Hey everyone, we're coming at you from the SEMA Show 2017. We're at the Ingersoll Rand booth and we're gonna talk to you about what you wanna look for when you're buying your first air compressor. I have Jared here from Ingersoll Rand and he's gonna discuss SCFM, tank size, and some different things. So let's start out with SCFM. What does that mean? SCFM means standard cubic feet per minute. So basically it's a volume. You're taking a cubic feet of air from the atmosphere and you're compressing that with this pump and storing that in that tank and then utilizing that later for tools or whatever you're using the compressed air for. So it's a volume component of how much flow is this compressor putting into that system. So when you go to buy your first air compressor, you're going to say, okay, is there a number that you want to buy for SCFMs? That's right. That's and right. And that's going to depend on... A what variety you, of things, right? right? So what we like to do is understand the customer's application to say, hey, what tools are you using? What equipment is consuming this compressed air? All manufacturers of compressed air equipment have a spec of flow and CFM and pressure and PSI. You figure out those two numbers and then that'll help you make your purchasing decision on the compressor. So when you're buying a compressor, first you need to look at your tools. Your tools should be rated for the different SCFMs and the different pressure ratings on them. That's figure right. out exactly what you want to use. Now, commonly we see someone who buys an air compressor and says, look, this will run my half inch impact wrench. And then they want to get a big sandblaster. Right, 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 right. Doesn't work that way, right? Yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you apply the appropriate machine. So sandblasters is a good analogy where they use in some cases upwards of 60 CFM of flow, right? And so if you get a small machine that's only rated for 30 or 40 CFM, you're not going to, the compressor is not going to last long because it's going to be working hard. It's not going to keep up. You can burn up the pump, things of that nature. Okay, so then let's talk about tank size. What does tank size have to do with someone buying a new compressor? Well, tank size is really the storage, right? In this particular case, we've got a 30 gallon tank and you can get up to 500 gallons in some respects. Uh, it's really just the, the capacity. Think of it like a fuel tank on your car, right. right? The bigger that tank is, the further you can go, right? So fundamentally, the bigger my tank is, the longer I can use the compressed air before the pump has to kick back on and fill that tank back up again. Okay, awesome. So ideally when you're out looking for an air compressor, look for something with good SCFM numbers. What's a good average number? What's this guy have? Well, this guy right here is, we give it two ratings. So okay. we, we give it two pressure ratings. So we say it's 4.6 CFM at 135 PSI, because that's the maximum pressure this machine can make. Okay. But if you use a 90 PSI for your point of use, which is what most tools are capable of, then we actually give it 5.2 CFM. So the higher the pressure you go, the lower the flow you have. But if you're using lower pressure for your point of use, it'll actually put out more flow. Awesome. So if you're looking for something like this, this would be great. Somebody's going to be able to run a single impact wrench off this yeah. up to half inch or below. You might be able to run a small sandblaster, like those little jugs, maybe. Yeah, little guys, absolutely. This is, this is the entry level guy, right? right. He's like, you know, I want to start doing things myself. I'm going to go purchase a couple of tools, some impacts, right. maybe a couple of die grinders and do a few finishing, uh, you know, like polishing my car or whatever the case may be, yep. and get this in the shop and just see how that works. And then from there, you can, you can move up as you need to. Awesome. Well, we're going to do some more videos on education on air compressors, guys. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and give us a like. Thank Thank you for your time, Jared. We really Thanks, appreciate Brian. it. Have a good day, guys.